There are many different definitions of algorithm. The Turing machine is a very a popular one where you think of a very primitive kind of machine uh, working on an uh, infinite tape, uh, reading, writing, moving around slowly, square by square on it. So what is a Turing machine? Well, it consists of an infinite tape, and the tape is divided into cells. And each cell can either be blank or can have something written on it. And then there's a read-write head. And finally, a Turing machine has a set of instructions. Instructions for what the read-write head is supposed to do. It can print a one, it can erase the contents of the tape, and it can move left or right. Let me just illustrate it with a Turing machine for adding two numbers. I'm going to input three, and I'm going to input four, and at the end of all this, there should be a seven on the tape. So how do we input three? Or we're just going to input it with three strokes. One, two, three. And then we're going to leave a blank in between, and we're going to input four. The tape head starts in this position, and the first thing it does is it moves right, reads what's on the tape, and it sees a 1. So the next instruction says, keep moving right until you get to a blank space. So it goes right, no, not blank, right, not blank, ah, blank. And now the next instruction says, move right again until you get to the next blank space. So is that blank? No. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? Yes. And then the next section is write one. Move left to the first blank space. Left, 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 blank. Move left again to the next blank space. Left, 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 blank. Move right and erase. And now we, we repeat that whole procedure. Move right one space. Is there a one there? Yes. If so, move right to the first blank space, move right to the second blank space, and copy that one. Back to the first blank space, back to the second blank space, and stops. Then it moves right one space and erases. And now it repeats the procedure again. Move right one space. Is there a one there? If so, Move to the first blank space, move across that to the second blank space, and copy that one. Then move back to the first blank space, move back to the second blank space, go right one, and erase. And now we repeat that procedure again. Move right one space. Is there a one in that space? Oh, no. There's no one in that space. Then you're done. Stop. And the result is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number seven is written on our tape. And the instructions are just that simple. Go left or go right or keep scanning the same square. Leave what's on the square alone or replace it by such and such. Nothing more than that. And Turing argued that uh, the kind of capabilities that even such a primitive machine would have encompass anything that you could call to be calculable uh, because he showed that you can encode in the patterns on the tape uh, many uh, conditions and by searching those patterns and rewriting them you can simulate any kind of computation that you can do in a more complicated way.